And so imagine Gina, she's sitting next to Ronnie Coleman as he strips off the pants, looking like a Magic Mike performer, thinking, what am I even looking at? 305 pounds, just over 5% body fat. What am I seeing right now? Coach Greg, and today I'm going to be reacting to Ronnie Coleman's iconic interview with Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. This happened over 20 years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I could not wait to see this interview. And so if you've never seen it, just wait until you hear what Ronnie Coleman says and the way he looks when he literally strips down on The Tonight Show doing poses for the crowd. Third year in a row. Three times straight. Wow, that's been now. Arnold Schwarzenegger held the old held the, the old record. He's what seven in a row. He held seven in a row, and Lee Haney beat him. Ooh. And at the time, like Chris Bumstead, Ronnie Coleman had won his third consecutive Mr. Olympia title. Perhaps one day we'll see Chris Bumstead on the Tonight Show. So how did this start? Were you like a, were you the ninety eight pound weakling? Did you? Well, did actually, you? I was a ninety eight pound weakling when I was about five years old. Really? Really. <laughs> And so Ronnie Coleman was never the 98 pound weakling that took to lifting weights to avoid getting sand kicked on him, to avoid getting bullied. He was always a specimen, a freak of nature in all body parts. That's right, all body parts. The guy who owns the gym, Brian Dawson, said, uh, to told me I, I could be world champion if I competed. I told him, no, no, no. I just joined on the police department. I don't want to take any steroids. And I love hamburgers. And so isn't it funny how he throws that in there? I never wanted to take steroids. I like hamburgers and pizza. In saying that, he's kind of insinuating that he's natural when we all know he's clearly not natural. But Jay Leno, he never brought that up. He let it pass. Let it slide. After all, he is on the police force. He's in the United States. It's illegal to use anabolic steroids. He's a police officer, clearly would be breaking the law. And so you can't just go on a TV show and say, hey, I took PDs to win the Olympia. Pretty sure he would lose his job. But he told me that uh, he'd give me a free membership to the gym if I competed. <laughs> yeah. So you know how we are about free. Oh yeah, free, free. <laughs> you're so, a cop, donuts, free. Yeah, free. Yeah. I find that hard to believe that just for a free membership, you're willing to go through the sacrifices, the dieting and so on, going on stage, just for free membership? And so it makes for a good story, but I do believe that Ronnie Coleman had his in heart. He must have had his sight on competing. He looked jacked, he was unbelievable. Guy said, you could become a world champion. That to me, that's motivation enough. We all look for something that we're great at on this world and we like doing that. And so for Ronnie Coleman, bodybuilding, that was what he was born to do. Well, how much do you work out every day? About 45 minutes to an hour a day, believe well, it or not. I do 45 <laughs> minutes a day. And no, I do not believe it that Ronnie Coleman got this physique winning the Olympia titles by training 45 to 60 minutes per day. He's doing cardio training, going to the gym early in the morning. Do you really think that only 45 to 60 minutes a day is what he was actually doing to win the Olympia title? Of course not. But it sounds good. When you're on an interview, you say things interesting to shock people. And to say you like burgers, pizzas, you don't like vegetables, you've never heard of tofu, you only train 45 minutes. Well, it sounds pretty interesting when you look like Ronnie Coleman, 305 pounds, 5% body fat. You don't have the same genetics. I'm kind of like what they call a genetic freak. I've been called a genetic freak. <laughs> <laughs> look at this chin. And frankly, Ronnie Coleman is not lying. He is the ultimate genetic freak. The guy literally turned pro 100% natural and was even competing as an IFBB pro without using PDs. He got sick of losing, getting in the third call out. Asked Flex Lewis, what are y'all doing? How come you're so jacked? Flex Lewis, a good friend of Ronnie's, his boy said, if you do these kind of cycles, you're not gonna believe the results. And so they knew Ronnie was coming. They knew that Ronnie Coleman would one day win an Olympia title and would not relinquish it anytime soon. And so just imagine, he was able to get an IBB Pro card natural. And so what do you expect to happen when you add in PDs? You expect Ronnie Coleman. That's exactly what happened. Believe it or not, normally I eat hamburgers, right. pizza, right. Uh, uh, fried you. chicken, potato <laughs> chips. Potato chip, one of my favorite foods, yeah. And so Jay Leno says, what do you eat normally? And so he lists his favorite foods that he doesn't eat any of when he's dieting and only eats in the off season. And so it gives the misrepresentation that he's just that freaky, eats whatever he wants, all junk food and looks like this. 
No, it's not the case. He does not eat like this while dieting. We all know he's eating chicken or steak, grits, oatmeal, boring stuff, and doesn't stray from that. Doesn't go out and eat at fast food restaurants, but he wasn't lying. Even over 20 years ago, didn't like vegetables. And so when he went on the Bradley Martin podcast 20 years later, he wasn't lying. I didn't eat vegetables back then. But he clearly did not say he was eating pizza, burgers, and chips, as he stated in this video. You're a police officer. Okay. You pull a guy over. This would scare the hell out of me. I see you guys. I mean, what a criminal yeah. do. They just fall down in the street and wet their Matter pants? Fact, what do they uh... do? <laughs> and honestly, if Ronnie Coleman pulled you over, you're not going to get out of the car and start running. It's just like, here's a big guy. He has a badge. He has a job to uphold. But in reality... Do you really think that it helps him that it's beneficial to be 305 pounds? Do you think this guy could run down and chase a criminal? Really? Do you think Ronnie Coleman can run? You know, certain things that a person obviously not in that kind of shape. But is, is there any truth to some of those things? There's no truth to that, no. none of that kind of stuff. I can do just about anything a normal person can do, believe it or not. Right, right, right. He's saying, oh, I can do everything that anyone normal could do at any size. No, you can't. You can't run. You stated you can hardly have sex. It tires you out too much. It's just that when you're in it, you don't think of all the disadvantages it has. And look, I'm not knocking Ronnie. The guy looks amazing, but you can't sit there and think that at 300 plus pounds of muscle, that it's not affecting your life in any negative way. The highest my body fat has ever been was like 5%. 5%. And what's the lowest? The lowest it's ever been was like 0.33. 0.33? That's contest shape. And so what's your body fat, Ronnie? Well, in the off season, when I'm eating burgers, pizza, you know, bulk it up, trying to get fat, it's about 5%. Percent, that's the highest it's ever been in my life. Of course not, clearly more than 5%. And in contest shape, 0.33%. Well, we all know there's essential fat on the human body. And once you go below 2 to 3% body fat, at the very least, it's impossible to survive below that. But I do believe it's not Ronnie's fault for this. When people have tested him, the calipers, the hydrostatic weighing methods, the DEXA scans, they're just, they're just not accurate. It's not like they had Coach Greg's laser eyes saying you're 3% body fat on stage and in your off season, you're 6 to 8%. Well, show me some. Can we see some poses? Yeah, yeah. I need some poses. And so imagine Gina, she's sitting next to Ronnie Coleman as he strips off the pants, looking like a Magic Mike performer, thinking, what am I even looking at? 305 pounds, just over 5% body fat. What am I seeing right now? And so just imagine I'm watching this over 20 years ago, watching Ronnie Coleman strip out the pants into his posing trunks, flexing on the Jay Leno show. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Look at the amount of muscle he has on his frame with that low a body fat percentage. Does this guy look like he's bulked up, getting fat and sloppy in the off season? Now what do women say when they see you, when they meet you for the first time? They go, like, Ooh. That's exactly. Well, they grab other places too. Really? <laughs> and so you got to think when you see Ronnie Coleman for the first time, I'm sure it's very difficult for people not to touch because it's just, it's shocking. I was in an elevator with Ronnie Coleman the first time I'd ever seen anyone with this kind of muscle. I just couldn't believe it. I literally considered him to be an alien. I could not believe what I'm saying. There were two older ladies in there. I'm sure they're thinking there's no way a human was in the elevator. Must have been an alien. And so imagine running up to Ronnie Coleman over 20 years ago, seeing him at 5% body fat, 305 pounds thinking, what in the world am I even looking at? Yeah, I keep as far away from it as I possibly can. So no sex when you're training? Why? Uh, uh, can't make, can't make, it's kind of hard to lift weights. It takes away from the strain. And so here's a tip for you. If having sexy time is such a challenge that it fatigues you to the point of not being able to train effectively or makes you weaker, you're doing something wrong. Perhaps do some more cardio, get in shape. Really? It's not that strenuous of an activity. If you can't have sexy time and still work out, you are not fit. Healthy at every size? Nope. Clearly, this is a perfect example. If you can't procreate because of your size, you're not healthy. No? Yeah. So if you have sex, you look... Like, the fighters, you say you go weak in the knees. Is that true? No, you weak all over. <laughs> really? <laughs> and so let that be a lesson for you. When you're dieting, preparing for competition, you don't have enough energy. You barely have the energy to procreate. But in the off season when he's eating more, he says he tries to get as much of it as he can. And so I keep saying in videos, if you're striving for single digit body fat, you have to be prepared for the warning signs that you're going too far. No energy, can't sleep, can't perform in the bedroom. 
It's a sign you've taken it too far. Thank you, man. The hurt noise you Ronnie Coleman, be right back with the Lion King. And so there you have it, the iconic interview, Ronnie Coleman on the Jay Leno Show. I remember this like it was yesterday. Hope you enjoyed it. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IP Pro. Please check out the bloops. And as always, Turkesterol and creatine, all the other supplements. Click the link in the description. We're giving away free training program for everyone. That's right. Free, absolutely free. Become a newsletter subscriber. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Comment for the algorithm. And until next time, I am out. Buy my freaking cookbook.